Shark doo 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 Baby shark doo 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 Hello, it's that time again for another TFAW unboxing. Now, if you remember the last one, that was a bonus one because I had been doing all these videos, so they gave me some free stuff. But this is my regular TFAW unboxing. So this is all the stuff I have pre-ordered months ago and just got today. Now, interesting about this, as far as I believe, not a single comic in this package is from a pull list because everything I subscribe to is finished. So these are just comics I heard about months ago. I'm like, oh, that sounds interesting, or I looked them up. So for, without any ado, let's see what's inside. Always knife, and normally I flick it out, but I already did that before the video, but I like doing so let's do it again. Let, it's gratifying as hell. All right, let's cut away because I've known people to accidentally cut their hands open. And I will not be one of those people. All right. I know this is only going to be four items, so this is going to be a short video unless I tag, put something at the very end, and I probably will. So let's see. All right. Of course, my packing slip. I'm not going to cheat, but I see four items. Oh, already saw one of them. All right. Item number one. This is one of the main things I got. Detective Comics number 1000. Now, I can't remember if this is a special cover or not. Let me look real quick. No. This is the regular newsstand edition, and if you look, 96 pages. That's a big comic. That's how big it is. Look, it doesn't have that thin little border you normally see, but a thick one. Oh, I could get a lot of signatures on this. Jim Lee, Alex Sinclair, I always see him at cons. Jim Lee's going to be hard to get. If you remember my last video about signatures, that was very rare that I got that. Williams, he's going to be hard to get, and whoever else wrote on this. But yeah, Batman has been around 80 years. You know, nearly three times as long as I've been, well, two times as long as I've been alive. I realize how old I am now. So yeah. What's next? Ooh, Faithless number one. Now, this cover looks blank to you, but it's because it has uh, NSFW, or not say for work, which means... It has mature content. It's an adult cover. So it's polybagged. This is so if you buy it at a store, you can't see what it is until you actually open it. You probably have to be over 18. So I am not going to show you what the cover looks like. If you want to know, go look online. Faithless number one. Tula Lote. Lotai. I don't know how to pronounce her name. But she's an incredibly sweet person. Totally nice. Met her at WonderCon. So it's going to be interesting to see what this cover is. I'll look at it later. Maybe I will open it later after this video and I'll censor it. Who knows? Okay. Uh, Jim Henson's A Storyteller. Sirens, number one. Now, I can't remember why I got this exactly, but if I recall, it's because the artwork was really beautiful. Oh, okay. The art, it's the Rebalke variant. Yeah. The Rebalke variant. I don't know who that is. Oh, Jacob Rebalke. But I thought the cover looked really beautiful. Like, look at that art style. Look. Like, ignore all the green. You know, Wizard of Oz, so you know there's going to be all that stuff about everything. Well, is it? Actually, I don't know if it's Wizard of Oz. It's Jim Henson. So, it's interesting what it could be. One thing I did notice is the corner of this is bent. But, thankfully, the comic is fine. So, that's good. Good thing, TFAW. Another thing, some of you don't know. Their comics don't actually come bag and boarded. But you can choose to have that done, and you pay something like 10, 15 cents per comic. So that's the extra thing, so I don't have to buy that. It's already all done for me. And when I've submitted stuff to CGC, of all the comics I submitted, the one that I got from TFAW and kept back the whole time, that came back with the highest rating of a 9.8. All the others, I was like a second owner. They were 9.6. So that keeps them in pretty good shape. And this one is Harley Quinn number 60. Which I actually do see a slight defect, not big, minor that I can actually get it out. Like, let's look at that corner real quick. You see, it's a little damaged, but it's actually fixable and barely noticeable. It looks worse because of the plastic. But I got this because the cover is by Frank Cho, and it's a very plain but beautiful looking cover. It's very simple, minimalistic. Look at the birds. Just a splash of color, very tasteful. All right, 
Okay, now I will actually look at that cover. So, children, avert your eyes. Cover them up. I just looked at the cover and... Yeah, there's no way I could show this in... Um, like, I would have to censor way too much. Even when I told you go look it up online, don't. Like, it's going to be embarrassing to explain why you're looking at this cover. And it is incredibly graphic. And I mean incredibly graphic. But the artwork is still beautiful. So, <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, if you like this video, I suggest you do three things. So like always, you know, make sure you share, you like, and subscribe. You know, I want this channel to grow, and it's actually been growing the past few weeks. I got something like seven subscribers. I've been going around town as I've been playing Pokemon Go, which I've gotten really into lately since I got a newer phone. I had the same phone for seven years. So, bound to get some games, start playing again. And I started going around leaving my business card at places. Yes, I get business cards. I go to the local college, which is not far from me. I challenge the gym. I leave a card there. So they see, hey, this guy beat us. And my YouTube channel name is the same thing for my Pokemon Go name. I am Graphical, but of course, you don't have my code, so you're never going to add me. Or I walk down to Starbucks, and I'll leave my card somewhere. And hopefully, someone will see it. They'll be curious. They'll check out the channel. Maybe they'll like it. Maybe they won't. Either way, it'll get some traffic. I got to do this next time I go to a con. So anyways, thank you for subscribing, thank you for watching, hopefully you like, you share, you get people into this, you let them know if they like comics, if they like video games, yes, I will put some Let's Play videos of video games, I know I haven't, even though I keep saying I do, it's that it's a little bit of a hassle to copy it off my PS4, it takes a long time for some reason to copy it to a flash drive, and then put it on my laptop, that part doesn't take a long time, and then to edit it, and then upload it, so say it's a 30 minute video, it takes... 50 minutes for it to copy it. I don't know why it takes so long. And then for me to actually edit it takes a little while. And then to upload it, so it's going to take a few hours. So that's why I don't do that unless I have nothing else to do and it's going to take a while. I could stream directly from my PS4 to my channel, but because the internet quality, it would actually bring it down a little bit and I wouldn't be able to censor it, take out boring parts, and so on. I may do that eventually further down the line during the summer once in a while but we'll see so anyways I will have some let's play videos coming up I still gotta do manhunt I had done one a while back in technical difficulties so I could put one up as a little teaser so some of you could get an idea of the game and let me know if you want to see more so I might do that later this week so as always thank you if you like this video make sure you like share subscribe and I want to see this channel grow. I want to see some growth too. I want to see more subscribers. I want to see more likes. So then I will put more videos. I'll be more likely to do Let's Play. Because last time I did a Let's Play video, I got only four views on it. And I get way more views on these unboxings. So you can see why I stick with what I do. So if you really want to see more Let's Plays, you got to go watch the other ones. Give them some thumbs up. Then I'll know. So thank you again. And I'm grateful for all of you that subscribe. Thank you. Rawr.